Hello everyone! Okay, this is a tutorial on this look. It is just kind of my take on the whole spring pink trend and I think this is really wearable for like every day but it can also work really really well for going out on Valentine's because it is focusing on like a pink goldy very soft look but still super sultry because there's like the lashes and the winged out eyeliner and pink lips they are very very glossy. Well if you want to know how to do this look just keep watching. Oh and beware I am wearing like giant velcro curlers through this tutorial because I was fixing my hair and obviously this is what I came out with. Very voluminous like the mascara. So beware, my hair looks super crazy. Don't be distracted because it's a pretty good tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoy. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do, as usual, is go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese, which is the light shimmery color. Cottage Cheese number 608. I'm also gonna do something a little bit different and I'm gonna apply this same pencil to my bottom waterline. Okay, I'm gonna blend that with my finger. Next, I'm going in with number 611 yogurt in the same kind of pencil, which is more of just like a, this is more of just like a peachy, pinky shimmer. And I'm going over the lid part. Using this base, it will allow something kind of sticky for the pigment to stick to. I'm going in with the NYX pigment. It is the Dramatic Chromatic Eyeshadow Pigment. And this is in Apricot. It's a very pinky gold shimmery color, which is very, very beautiful. And I'm just really going to pack that on. This is what it looks like in the pot. And I'm going in with just a very dense sort of C brush. I think of it as a C brush. I don't know why. I think that's what e.l.f. calls it, but I'm not sure if this is an e.l.f. brush. It could be. And I'm just going to pack the color on. I'm really just bringing this up almost all the way up to the brow bone. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Beware of fallout. I have like a ton of fallout right now. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is what it's going to look like after you're done with that. I have my lighted mirror right here, so I don't know if I'm like extra bright right now. I'm sorry if it's tough to see the colors if I am really, really bright right now. Whoa. Okay, now I'm going to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to go in with a matte shade because this lid shade is so, so shimmery. Well, it's not completely matte, actually, but it's a more matte shade than what I have. It is from a Maybelline palette in Chai Latte, and it is the brow highlight. And I'm just using a little brushy brush. <laughs> you don't even really have to use a brush for this. I'm also going into the inner corner with the same shade. And then I'm going to go over the lower water line with the exact same shade. That's just going to set the light color in the bottom water line because otherwise it would just go away because a cream has to be set with a powder for it to stick. And then you just do the same thing on the other eye. I feel like I look kind of scary right now. <laughs> now that I have an epic amount of fallout. <laughs> okay, I am going to go in with a matte brown shade. This is Buck from the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to go in with a uh, little pencil crease, crease brush. This is the C222 Round Contour Brush by Crown Brush. Blend that in really just above my crease. You can go straight into the crease. I have such small eyelids showing that I like to do it a bit 
above the crease because, I don't know, that's just what suits my eye shape. You're also going to blend it down, creating the V. And same thing on the other eye. And just to give more dimension to the eye, I'm going to go in with another color from the Naked palette, and it is Hustle, which is a very dark, like, browny, burgundy, uh, with only a very, very slight shimmer. And I'm just going to do that a very small amount right into the outer corner. All right, and the last thing you're going to want to do is to kind of like blend the brow bone highlight with the crease contour shade is go in with sort of a goldy color. I'm using CoverGirl's Single Mink, and I'm just going to go in with my finger, just a little bit of it, and try to just break up that tough edge. Next up, I'm going to use my beloved Milani Liquify Metallic. Alana pencil, my absolute favorite. You know that, I know that. You should go get it. And I'm gonna line my upper waterline. This is not a step that you have to do, but it is something that I like to do. So that's really up to you. It is just a your style thing. Next, I'm gonna fill in my brows with the Maybelline Define a Brow. The next thing I'm going to use my brow pencil for is lining under my lash line. I don't want to go onto the waterline because that makes your eye more closed. And I do that a lot. I really do go in between using like white to brighten them up and make them look larger um, and lining the waterline with like black. I go either way. I don't think there's a rule whichever way that you have to do it, but sometimes I do it this way and it's always an option for anyone. This is not even a dark brown, this is medium brown. Another thing that you can do to kind of open up your eye, go in with a small brush and just get a dab on there and go from your waterline kind of up. Like if you're gonna do winged liner, you think about where you're gonna put your wing and you put it just under that. Next for my brows, I'm gonna use the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in Brunette. Now that your brows are done, you're going to want to go in and do a winged liner on the top. For my winged liner, I'm going to use the e.l.f. eyeliner pen. You don't have to do the winged look, but it's just something that I like. You can obviously all just stop your eyeliner application right here, but I like to wing it out. I just, I don't know, that's just what I like. And you do the other eye the exact same way. The next thing that you're going to want to do is curl your lashes and apply mascara. I'm using a Ardell eyelash curler, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume in Fairy Black, and I'll be right back. I took my hair down and I applied two coats of mascara on the top and just a very, very, very little bit on the bottom lashes. Next up, I'm going to apply false lashes. And that is a, a totally extra step. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it's something that I really, really, really like to do. I think it is so awesome. Okay, these are NYX Fabulous Lashes and they are an EL132 and they don't have a name. And they are lashes that are like a full strip, but I cut them in half, and so I have... So, let me show you what I have. Whoa, they're making an escape. Okay, so I have like one full strip, and then I have two halves, because I just cut this one down the middle, because I really love half lashes. Okay, there they are. These are the lashes that I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm going to put those on, and I'll be right back. Okay, now can you tell the difference? Fabulous less fabulous. Yeah, you definitely want the lashes. <laughs> and now that you've got your false eyelashes on, you're going to do your blush. I am using the NYC Blushable Cream Stick. Look like this. And Big Apple Blush. And I'm just putting that on the outer edges. Just little stripes like that. 
And then I'm going over that with a blush brush and Coralie stuff. I love how it smells. Is that weird? Have you ever smelled Coralie stuff? I love it. And then now I'm going in with a Milani baked bronzer and it looks like this. It is in number four, Glow. And it's just a very shimmery, goldy, kind of orangey tone. And I'm really, I'm not even using this as a highlighter. I'm just going all over the whole area. You can even go down your nose with this and in the middle and our chin a little bit. This is a, this is like, I think it's supposed to be a bronzer. I would never use this as a bronzer, but it just gives you a great little highlighty sheen. And now for the lips, I'm using Milani Easy Liner in Most Natural, which is just like a deep nude. And over that liner, I'm going to use the Palladio Herbal Tinted Lip Balm in Berry. Looks like this. I found it at Ulta. It's very inexpensive. And it looks like this. It's just a pinky lip balm. It just gives me a very, very shiny finish with like a, a nice tint of berry. Okay, and after you apply your last coat of mascara, you're done. All right, and this is your final look. This is just a subtle take on the whole spring pink valentine's trend theme whatever. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone!